This is the Laughing Parent Team, and we just got done watching a Ryan Reynolds film. You cannot go wrong with a Ryan Reynolds film. Uh... <laughs> Roll trailer. You ready for this? Yeah. If is the most original and heartfelt movie in years. Magic like this comes around once in a lifetime. This Friday, experience the movie your whole family will love. Can we do it again? If. Well, welcome back. Uh, we just got done watching uh, If, Ryan Reynolds, John Krasinski. Did I say that right? Close enough. Krasinski. Krasinski, something like that. Uh, I'm Jason Brown. I'm Jimmy T. I'm E. Jacobson. I'm Chris Langley. And uh, If is a wonderful movie about, well, imaginary friends. Uh, let's do the standard Jimmy questions. Uh, did you like the movie? No, I loved it. You loved it, okay. I loved it. I liked it, yeah. I loved it, yeah. Like that movie. Uh, would you watch it again? Absolutely. Okay. No, no, but not because it wasn't a great movie. Okay, good. Absolutely. Absolutely, yes. Um, I would watch it again. Uh, I just am so sad that my grandson is too young to probably enjoy it. But you know what? That means I get to uh, watch it again in a few years and enjoy it with him. Uh, Which means would you buy it? We have, that's right. That's what I'm coming to. Would you I buy it? I would buy it. You yes. would buy it? Uh, no, I would not no, buy it. No, because you're not going to watch it again. <laughs> Strangely, I think I would buy it. Strangely! Because I hardly ever buy movies I've seen already. But yeah. No. This one is worth seeing Yeah. Okay. several times. I yeah. Think. What uh, What did you... What, I'd buy it. Okay. Uh, what did you enjoy about the movie? The dialogue was just outstanding. And they set up... Uh, you know, everything is set up and reward. <clears throat> the setups are really subtle. And mm -hmm. the reward might be in the next minute. It'll be at the end of the movie. So it's, I really like it. It was very well. It was intricate. It was made well. It was designed well. Yeah. It was, yes, this is a good, well-made movie. E? Interesting. I just liked that it was positive. It was, it was a very positive movie, I just, wasn't I, it? It was yes. heartwarming, wasn't it? Yep. yep. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I liked it because I think parents and kids can watch it together and actually have a, a, an intelligent discussion about some of the things that are brought up in the film. Okay. Like imagination. Yeah. Uh, I, I loved just almost everything about this movie when the imagination comes alive all the way to the payoff at the end. It was just, I, I think with E, I just, I, it was a happy movie. Yeah. It was heartwarming. Oh, yeah. yeah. And uh, it, it, for a few minutes there, got to feel like a kid again inside. Yeah. And the CGI was not overwhelming. No. It was extremely well done. It was believable. Yeah. Okay. I hate to say that. It's like uh, Fault Free Guy. Yeah. And this one, the, the CGI is just outstanding. Yeah, really was. Uh, any any words, E, on... I I just really love how positive that movie was. Yeah, it really was a positive <laughs> movie, wasn't I, it? I really do. Yeah. Yeah. I just I'm kind of stuck in that and stuck in that. And that just, is a great place yeah. to be stuck. I want to mm -hmm. take that feeling with me all day. Yep. And I, I, I was going to open with this, and I'm not closing yet. But I stayed for the whole credits, and I didn't stay for the credits this time because I was hoping for an end scene. I stayed because I just wanted to soak up as much of the movie as possible. Even though it was names, I wanted to stay in that moment, that feeling of what that movie gave to me. And there is a payoff. You do need to stay to the end of the credits. Chris? And it, it said that it was okay. In fact, it's a good thing to have an imagination when you're a kid and to have uh, imaginary friends. And it's okay even at your age to rediscover Well, and then I kind of searched friend. my memory during the, to, to see if I had one. You gotta I search didn't your come heart. up with one. You're but... searching the wrong part. You're supposed to search with your heart. Yeah. Well, I think I, my heart was <laughs> Oh, so did that prove or disprove that you have a heart? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's the truth. But the actress, I may say, Caitlin Fleming, the actress. Yes. She's oh. going places. She was she amazing. Was, she she was really amazing. was. And I love the wardrobe on her the whole time. Yes. I mean, just classic lady dress. It was it was great. And the Easter eggs are very, very subtle. Oh, there's there a lot of them. Yes. Yes. Did you see the Easter egg? And I'm not giving anything away, but with um, Jimmy Stewart. Yeah, a heartbeat. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I, I didn't see that. Yeah, I yelled back. Yeah, I said, "Did you see?" I saw the credit. credit. Is where I yeah. saw. guys. This is a fun movie, and if you have a lot going on this weekend, you still need to make time to come down to the Bishop Twin Theater to see this one. 
you you owe it to yourself. There's a lot of negativity in the world, and this will just warm your heart. Bring you to a place. Yes, exactly. It'll warm your heart, and you owe it to yourself to come down. And if you're thrifty, well, guess what? They have a matinee. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> and if you're not thrifty, and uh, you can come up to the bar here at the Roaring Twenties. But thanks for watching. I'm Jason Brown. I'm Jimmy T. I'm Jacobson. I'm Chris Langley. And we appreciate you watching our movie review. What if I told you imaginary friends are real? And when their kids grow up, they're forgotten. Are any of them scary? Worse. Desperate. Did you cry? Yes. Did you cry? I cried during the whole movie. No. I was like a little schoolgirl. Were they asking? Happy tears. Yes, they're very happy tears. Definite, Definite yes.